Okay, this will be a condensed version of the prior lesson on finding the hips. We begin with our feet about shoulder width apart, finding the crease of the hips and sinking into the hips. Feeling as though you can sink the weight of your torso, your shoulders, your ribs, all of the muscles and the organs into your hips. Just an up-down movement. Focus on initiating the movement in the hips while staying centered over your feet. Observe whether your tendency is to initiate from the knees. Good. Take a breath in and a breath out. Bring the backs of your hands together, pull up the energy, open into a circle and hold a tree. And feel that you can open up the back, the back of the sacrum, the base of the rib cage, and the base of the neck, just making them a little wider. As you lower your hands, maintain that feeling of being a little wider in the back. Bring your hands back to the crease. Sink a little bit, not too much. We're not trying to build strength. We're trying to build awareness. Move left and right. Slowly feel the weight go over one leg. One leg becomes full, while the other becomes empty. Bring the focus to the hips as if you're sitting on a bench. And feel that you could release any work that you're doing in your muscles and just simply rest on the skeleton, sit into your hips, which rest on an imaginary surface. Keep the back open. Your breathing is free. Good, come to stand again. Shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I do. I'm going to physically round my back. In this case, I am tucking my sacrum. I pull my elbows forward while I simultaneously pull my ribs and my spine backwards. My intention is to widen and deepen the volume of my back. Now I imagine doing that movement without actually physically moving. And I feel that I can get wider just through my imagination. I never want to end up in a position where I have an unnatural posture 
Having your sacrum or your tailbone tucked is not a natural posture. Feeling open, wider, able to conduct energy. That is a natural posture. Come back to feet shoulder width apart. Sink a little bit while being open. Bring your hands onto an imaginary surface. Move sideways and polish the surface with your hands. Let your hips move your hands. Feel the width of the back. Feel the shoulder blades. Change direction. And rest. Place one foot back, turned out slightly, about 30 to 45 degrees. Your other foot points straight ahead. The width of your stance is approximately two fists. Sink into the hips and come up. Sink into the hips. Shift your way back. Keep the back open. Go back and forward a few times. Bring your hands out in front on the horizontal surface. Shift your weight and use the weight shift to move your hands. Allow the weight to settle into your hips before you move. Think of the weight as being the same as your attention so that you allow your attention to settle into the hip. And then you go. Use the hip to turn and to create a small circle. Allowing the weight to settle. Change direction. Notice if you're twisting your back. If you're twisting, make a smaller movement until you feel that you're better able to control and keep the back from twisting. Switch your stance. Sink into the hips and come up. Forward and back. Feel your attention settle into the hip and then go. Notice any excessive movement in the spine. Body moves the hands. And finally circles.
change direction. Hips lead the movement. Now change the dynamic, bring energy into your hands, into your fingers, and feel the fingers lead the movement. Your body is following your fingers. What does that even mean? If you do it with the intention of leading with your fingers and your hands, it is clear that the movement feels different. Bring your hands to your center, to your Dantian. Move from your center. Change the direction. And then bring your attention to the ground. Move from the ground. Pull energy from the ground. Keep the legs open, right? We're holding a bow. Change direction. Depending on where you focus the attention, the movements will feel different. Learning to focus your attention is a key part of the learning process in both the Feldenkrais method as well as Tai Chi training.